What is up YouTube, it's your boy Boss, welcome back again with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a little quick news update. It's going to be regarding the Dragon Ball mechanic and the dramatic finished cutscenes that are going to be in the game. Shout out to Shonen Games for the translations on the Dragon Ball mechanic. Alright, so if you didn't know, there's a Dragon Ball mechanic in Dragon Ball. Who would have figured? Once you get all 7 Dragon Balls, you're granted a wish. And how this works is, you basically, there's a meter at the bottom of the screen. And you fill it up by doing combos. So, if, for example, if you want the 3-star Dragon Ball, you have to do a combo ending in, like, the 30s. That could be, like, a 35-hit combo, 36-hit combo. It can't be above 40 or below 30 for you to get the 3-star Dragon Ball. With that being said, you get four wishes. The first wish is, please fully heal me. And this fully heals your point character, simple. The second wish, please bring my Nakama back to life. And for those of you who aren't weebs, that means friends. And this revives one of your partners at 20%. Now, I don't know if this is both teammates or just one of the teammates. And I don't know if you get to choose the teammate. So that's going to be interesting to find out. The third wish says, please grant me ultimate power. And this increases sparking icon by one. Now, this is actually going to be pretty cool because say if you have two teammates left and the person has one teammate left and you get all the Dragon Balls and they have a level 3 sparking blast wave, a level 2 sparking blast. You can make a wish to also have a level 3 sparking blast while you still have two teammates on your team. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. The last wish simply states, please grant me an undying body. And what this does is regenerates the blue health of your entire team. So that's going to be interesting to see in battle too. I don't remember whether or not tagging out regenerates teammates blue health already. But I'm assuming since it's going to be a wish, it's going to regenerate really fast as if you were like in sparking blast. Because that's the only way I would use it. Um, I have to mention, I'm really proud of Arc System, the way they handled this mechanic. At first, when we heard about it, I think a lot of people were kind of skeptical. Thinking it's going to be like a super OP mechanic. I was too myself. But reading this, it all sounds really balanced, honestly. The heal your point character 100% health sounds kind of OP in my opinion. Not like OP, but it sounds like it could be too good. They might want to bring that down to like 75% or 50%. But overall, it's looking really balanced in my opinion. As for the bring your character back to life, I'm actually really cool with that one too. As long as you can't like bring Android 16 back to life and do a second suicide bomb thing. Because I know once he uses it once, he can only do it once and if he misses, you can't do it again. So I'm hoping he doesn't like reset the character to the point where you can like spam certain OP moves like that suicide bomb one. Um, I do have a critique for the Dragon Ball mechanic from what I've seen off the um, footage that we got earlier. It kind of looks, it kind of looks like really momentum breaking when you get the Dragon Ball. Like the screen kind of pauses and like the whole animations happen. If it's still like that, we kind of like to see like a smoother transition to use the Dragon Balls. Something like really fast you can do. I don't want it to be like too pace breaking, but that's like a very, very small gripe. Nothing to be taken seriously. I'm still loving the game, regardless. Alright, enough with the Dragon Ball mechanic, we're going to talk about the finishing cutscenes, the dramatic finishes whatever they're going to be calling them, the brutalities. Alright, so dramatic cutscenes are basically something you can see before or after the match if you can, if you fulfill certain conditions. So for example, if you meet every condition, you might be able to blow Krillin up or Frieza's auto combo. We can actually see it in the scan. And then like there's Beerus, it looks like he's about to grab Goku from falling to the earth like he did in the movie. So just stuff like that, all those little scenarios. We can also see the famous Yamcha meme where the Cybermen blow Yamcha up. So I'm guessing if you're Nappa and you kill some Yamchas with Cybermen, then they're going to be on the ground like that. That's a really disgraceful way to die, by the way. And the last one got me most interested. It's the one where Goku throws a spirit bomb at Kid Buu, and Kid Buu dies from it. But I don't think Goku has spirit bomb in this game. So the cutscenes are going to be more interesting than we probably initially thought. I was kind of hoping they worked like brutalities from Mortal Kombat X. I used to love doing brutalities in that game. And I was hoping like if you pick Beerus, you could Hakai everyone. Because that would be so sick, just believing people. If you guys can think of any more dramatic cutscene situations, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I'll have more videos uploaded soon. And with that, I'm signing out.